afternoon everyone we are all welcome to this afternoon's broadcast excellent afternoon we are all welcome of course we know my name again is Ngozi Achongwa and I'm your health and wellness coach I teach you how you can stay away from hospital live healthy especially at this middle age so that you can be what God wants you to be and obtain and achieve what God wants you to achieve in life Excellent afternoon. It's a new week. We are all welcome to this new week. It's a wonderful new week and we are all welcome. Who is online with me? So I can greet you before I start and then to also share it on my group and pages. You're welcome, 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 welcome. We are all welcome. <laughs> it's a wonderful time today today is a full day wow i'll have to be a little fast today because we are also looking at the top 10 foods and then we are going to do two recipes we are going to do two recipes with those food that we need for our heart health you know um of recent i started um, handling someone that has a, a bit of blood pressure and a bit of you know high cholesterol looking for how we can stay away from sodium through salt you know so all these we're going to look at today what you can do for a better heart health that can actually help you god will help us today with network hello welcome welcome ng ng you're welcome we welcome if you're okay you're welcome to this afternoon's broadcast kindly share with friends share with friends as we go on today we are looking at the top 10 foods i'm also going to be sharing with us a few more more than 10 but you know i always advertise what i know i can deliver i found so many others and then we are also going to do some recipes today wow it's going to be a full full day and that's why i'm in my kitchen <laughs> that's why i'm broadcasting from the kitchen today hello if ng you're welcome to this afternoon's broadcast welcome grace you're welcome to this afternoon's broadcast even as we look at the top 10 foods and also look at two recipes at least we'll look at a, a healthy heart recipe you know smoothie and then we're going to look at a dinner a simple dinner you can have to also have a healthier heart for yourself you're welcome welcome so have your notebooks with you so that you can take some notes as we go along today and make sure you ask your questions i also want to say kudos to all those that uh, make sure that they gave their hearts some nice treats over the weekend on saturday during our broadcast we looked at um, eight exercises that can actually help you have a healthier heart and then also we also looked at some of the things you can take that can also help you to have a healthier heart and some people took action immediately they got their supplements the supplements are on the way and some of the products are on the way yeah we did 30 percent discount you missed if you missed saturday <laughs> because we had 30 percent discount off all products for heart health it was a wonderful time welcome uchenna welcome aminu it was a wonderful night anyway today there is no 30 percent discount it's a pity but as we go along, it will make me know if we will. Because somebody triggered it off on Saturday. Not that I really wanted to do it. But with the questions that came, I felt I should just help those people make sure they get what they needed with the questions that, you know, they brought out. That's why I just did that flash sale. It was just a, a short flash sale. Flash sale that we did to help them get those products. Today, I don't know how it will go, but there's no discount. All those who have paid, their yeah, products are on the way to get to them. So today, get ready. We are looking at the best, 10 best foods for a healthier heart. Welcome, Gozi Mwajaku. Yo, God bless you for joining us again. I will just check those who are um, on my personal page and welcome them and then we get going today hello 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 okay angie you're also on the personal page you're all welcome welcome kate okay chuku you're welcome angie you're welcome thank you for giving me the thumbs up yeah i'll be happy to have all the thumbs up and do your questions your question can trigger off something good today <laughs> who knows all right very good you know many foods can actually help your heart 
you know, and be the best that it should be. You know, some help lower your blood pressure, others keep your cholesterol in line. And you know, so if you add these foods to your shopping list, to your diet, to your menu, it will actually help you. Because of course we know that there's a saying that you are what you eat and that's the truth. I've actually found this out. People say my skin is glowing, you know, I don't have any wrinkles and things like that, even at my age. Yes, because I'm working towards not having those things. That's why it is so what I eat. And of course, remember a lot of water, plenty water can actually help with detox and colon cleansing that can also help you. So, you know, as new evidences emerge, as they are doing science research on health, you know, there, there's been a major link between diet and heart diseases. It's growing as the day is going. It's actually growing. So when you put on your plate, what you put on your plate can actually influence just about every aspect of your heart health and all other areas of your health, from your blood pressure to inflammation to cholesterol level to even they try glycerides, it can actually influence it, what you put on your plate. And that's why it's very, very important for us to be careful, mindful, and actually plan what we put on our plates. Welcome, Paul Mudupe. Yeah, Paul Mudupe is one of those that took advantage of the 30% discount on Saturday. Welcome, Chichioma. Welcome, Josephine Ode. You're all welcome to this afternoon's broadcast. So, including these health, heart healthy foods as part of your nutrition, your well balanced diets can actually help your heart in good shape and minimize the risk of heart diseases so you need to change your diet a lot of us by the time we get to age 40 we need a lifestyle change so that we'll be able to live older look younger be healthier not being you know moved from one clinic to the other but actually enjoying your old age i have a testimony about one of my my senior top business partner in fact she's the top business partner in my company forever living in nigeria She's 75 years old. And you know, last year, I think last year, February, before the lockdown, we had a, a, a healthy heart walk. And we walked, those of you that know Lagos, we walked all the way from Aromire, all the way, we took it down through um, shopping center, through Kudia Tabiola, you know, Oregu Road. We walked all through to Okwebi Bypass, Bypass, all the way through Allen, up by B Road or Allen and back, and this woman did not sit for one second. I was so challenged about that. I mean, I kept following her and I was like sticking close to her. She was just with her, you know, on Saturday I showed us, let me have my bottle of Aji. On Saturday I showed us my bottle of Aji, how I, I mix my drink with it, you know. She just had her bottle of Aji mixed with her Aji, you know, mixed with her aloe vera gel. And the rest and she was just sipping it as we were going psychedelica and you know each time i see her she's on her high heels she's strong she did not sit down so many young people were sitting down you know but she didn't sit down and it's because she's been in the business for 22 years now for 22 years she's watched her health she it was sickness that drove her into the business she was very fat obese she was moving in and out of the hospital and the doctor told her, reduce your weight, number one. And then number two, look at what you're eating. So she just ran into our clean nine to lose weight with. She lost weight, then she did the fit one. And from that day, she said, she started looking for where is this company. We were not even in Nigeria then. She wrote abroad, wrote UK, wrote US until she got the company here because of the good health she had. Your health is very, very important. Hello, Esther and Ene and Ngozi Solomon Uche. Eteng, Eteng, you're welcome. Joy Vincent, you're welcome. Eteng is also one of those that participated in the 30% discount. Kudos, your products are on their way. All right, so you need to watch your health. That's what I'm saying. What you eat determines how long you live. Let's, you know, all things being equal. I know that life and death is in the hands of God. But of course, we know that so many times people dig their graves with their mouth. All right. So we're looking at the 1010 foods. And also, I want to drop this for us. 
before the end of this month my new book is coming out wow <laughs> my new book and that book is on your heart health everything you need to know about your heart health the causes what you can do the solutions to it and then some menus and recipes i'll give you some recipes that you can take and i'm going to give you a weekly menu that you can go on i'm trying to do some research and i'm using some people as my case study on how you can have delicious food on your table without salt because we are dealing with heart health now salt is very very good salt you know to an extent especially if you take sea salt it's very good but if the doctor says you are having high cholesterol high blood pressure then you need to stay away from salt now mind what i'm saying someone called me last week and said ah i don't want to call a doctor i want to call you and i say ah biko call doctor i'm not a doctor i'm not a medical doctor she said no i know you will have a quick solution for me now somebody is having very low blood pressure very very low blood pressure and i don't know what to do so i said okay take a teaspoon of salt put it inside water and let her sip it gradually and then please take her to the clinic as fast as possible now within one hour she called me and said oh the pressure had come up you know so you can see i'm just trying to tell you that um, my saying you should stay away from salt is because you have high blood pressure for somebody who has low blood pressure uh -uh, you don't have to stay away from salt and also with diabetes if the doctor says oh you're having low blood sugar you need to take some kind of fast sugar so you understand these things there's no final rule on them you need to know what is good for you and follow it oh wow Uche, you can't wait for the book yeah the book is coming it's coming it's coming it's coming <laughs> i don't know the cost too but i'm sure i'm going to do a kind of flash sales on them all right so for your breakfast we're going to be sharing some of the things you can use for your breakfast but first of all i want to look at the foods as food i'll look at the first 10 and i'll give you maybe like five or six others you can add to that and then it's out of these foods and some other healthy ones i will come up with your menu if you're having high blood pressure you need that book i'm telling you ahead of time you need that book if you're having high blood pressure so the first food that helps lower our blood pressure gives us good cholesterol, remove bad cholesterol, is oatmeal. Oats have a type of fiber that, that is called beta-glucan, and it lowers the bad cholesterol in the blood. And you know, one and a half cup of cooked oatmeal gives you the amount of beta-glucan you need every day, and this will actually help to lower your bad cholesterol. So, Oats, you know, fiber-rich oatmeal can call down on cholesterol absorption and contributes to your gut health. So oatmeal is a good source of healthy fiber, healthy fat, and protein. You know, soluble fiber is really important for our digestive tract and it keeps our blood sugar at reasonable level and at a stable level. So oatmeal is generally affordable, generally found almost everywhere. So get your own. But you know, sometimes some people can also use quinoa and also whole grain rice, you know, like brown, black, or wild rice, whole grain um, wheat that you can use and whole grain cereals. All this can also help, you know, with oatmeal also. So you need to always look at your nutritional label. I always say this. When you take anything and you buy anything from the shop, turn to the back and read your label. Some of the foods, they will read um, whole grain. If they read whole grain, then it is okay. Some of them can read some other things, you know. They will tell you maybe that it's a kind of flour or the rest. Then you leave those ones. So you can also add... Um, barley if you need barley or you can also add mushroom or seaweed so that's number one that's number one then number two is garlic and chili pepper this garlic oh, that we run away from <laughs> garlic and chili pepper pepper you know for centuries garlic has been used as a natural remedy to treat a lot of ailments in recent years research have confirmed its potent medical properties and found that garlic can even help improve your heart health. 
garlic can actually help to improve your heart health so this is also you know thanks to the presence there's a a, a, a a compound that is present in garlic that is called allicin and it's also have you know multiple therapeutic effects be sure to consume your garlic raw if you're not taking a well-known and um, a researched after supplement like for me i usually use raw garlic to cook and then i take my forever garlic time it's fantastic this garlic time allows you to have full you know um all the allicin non removing or going out of it now let me tell you what happens you know many times when you take garlic and you're going where people are to be smelling them people will know that you took garlic Abby. that's what happens you know why because the allicin and some of the properties are being shared to the people who are smelling it with you so each time you take garlic and some smells are going out you're losing some part of it but you see our uh, forever garlic time if you every hundred percent content is there you don't lose anything everything is in total here hundred percent so anyway if you're using raw garlic let me give you one tip <laughs> crush it and let it sit for a few minutes before you cook it not immediately you crush garlic you put it on fire why because it allows a formation you know for the formation of the allicin maximally and that's very potential and very very good for your health benefits what i usually do you know even in america sometimes i buy crushed fresh crushed garlic that they've already packaged and kept well and i put in my fridge but here i crush my garlic and because of my garlic and ginger and then i make it into my my um juice and then i keep it and i use it all the time so that's a trick for you that you can also do to make sure you have your garlic all the time in your food then chili pepper you know they are high in substance called capacitinin and you know it sets your your mouth on fire but you know it is that thing that makes chili pepper to set your mouth on fire that has that anti-inflammatory property and that makes it a good antioxidant and also blood glucose regulating effects that it has so chili pepper is very very good in fact the heart foundation did a study in 2020 using 570,000 people you know they found out that those people as they ate chili pepper very well that they had a whooping 25 percent lower relative risk of cardiovascular mortality than those who rarely who hardly took it or who hardly ate pepper add pepper to your food it's very very good and that's why i love um that i'm staying in the western uh, nigeria you know and yoruba is like a lot of pepper i love pepper you know and it's it has very good um, medicinal you know properties for you so though they are nearly as rich as in as the you know super hot variety you can also use sweet green pepper sweet red pepper they are also very good source of the capsaicin that I'm talking about. All right, so you can ask your questions. I take your questions as we go along today. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, Ene. Welcome, Esther. You're welcome. I'll take our questions as we go along today. All right, so the, the, the third one is beans. I love beans. <laughs> yes, Uche, you're going to get the book soon. I love beans. I love beans. Beans is one of the food I love cooking. I love eating. You know, beans contains resistance starch. It has carbohydrates in it, but the carbohydrate in beans is complex carb. And you know, it resists the digestion and is fermented by the beneficial bacteria in your gut. Eating beans has been linked to reduce blood pressure and inflammation, both of which are risk factors for heart disease. So beans, like I said, is high in resistant starch and it has also been shown to reduce the levels of cholesterol and triglycerides, lower blood pressure and also decrease inflammation. So take your beans. In one of my videos, if you go down, I think I did that video in um, either July or so. I taught you how you can cook your beans delicious and you eat it all the time 
But now, I've even found how you can cook your beans for someone with high blood pressure without adding salt and it will still be very, very delicious. It's going to be in that book. <laughs> the recipe is going to be in that book that is coming. Don't mind me. I just want to tantalize it to make sure you get that book. Anyway, peas also are good, like chickpeas, lentils, or other forms of legume because they found to significantly reduce the low density lipoprotein that is the bad cholesterol the ldl it's been found to reduce it so they are also packed with fiber protein antioxidants which are also beneficial for your health and for your general you know heart health and your general health hello Dupe. good afternoon yes good afternoon doris doris you're welcome to this afternoon's broadcast so we are looking at the 10 top foods to give you a healthier heart and I'm going to be doing a fast recipe for your breakfast. It's a pity I might not be able to do oats. We all know how to do oats. So we can do oats, add varieties to your oats. It's going to be in the book anyway. I'll give you a lot of varieties of how you can take your oats. So that even if you're taking your oats every day, they are delicious, they are different, they are interesting, they are not boring. All right, so number four is fish that is high in omega-3s fish that is high in omega-3 fish is a strong source of heart helping omega-3 fatty acids and protein which you know is very very good because they are good in such uh, very low in saturated fats omega-3s have anti-clotting effects that keep your blood flowing omega-3 is very very important people who have heart disease or at risk of developing needs are often recommended to increase their intake of omega trees by eating fish this is because they lower the risk of abnormal heartbeats and slow the growth of plates in the arteries like some of the fish that you can take is salmon fish mackerel herring trout tuna sardines you know you can take all these fish they are very good in omega-3 um, fish oil but i usually prefer salmon each time i travel oh wow I take salmon they say you should take two to three times a week but when i travel i tell myself you know what you don't easily find salmon in nigeria they are in some shops so but they are expensive so i if i go to any place to eat and they say what do you want i'll just say salmon i'll just say salmon you know because the aha recently you know reaffirmed its long-standing recommendations for us to eat fish especially salmon and other oily fishes which are high in omega-3 fish acid you know acid like i said now if you can't get salmon you can't easily get um, omega fish that is high in omega-3 i have the best omega-3 fish oil supplements here it's called rtc i did a demo on saturday using this i just i don't want to do that demo today go and watch that video the video of saturday you will be amazed at what this can do to your health in fact after doing that demo it triggered me to give that 30 percent discount because i was wow people can be in health and stay away from hospital i now decided that weekend to give away my profit i said let me just dash people my profit i sell this thing i even sold it below company price just to help you i even gave you gave you with my bonus <laughs> but i just made it that window of weekend oh wow so you can get your omega-3 fish oil, Active C, it will help you do all that I have said that omega-3 can also help you to do in case you can't get your fish, salmon, even if you can get it. I tell you, this bottle has all the quantity you need in a day. So you can just jolly well be taking that one. This is my own, it's my own omega-3 fish oil. It comes like this, very soft gel that you can easily swallow and you know i the people who bought this over the weekend to tell you how powerful this is you can put it in the fridge just take some now put in the fridge it will not block and then if you have been using other actis or uh, other omega-3 fish oil put those ones put all of them together put in the fridge you know label them you will find out that this one will not block but those ones you will find out that they have blocked that's how to test if your omega-3 is the original one one of my senior colleagues that had high blood pressure and had cholesterol, he doesn't joke with this. 
it's always in his pocket he's just taking it anyhow all right so that's number four number five is olive oil if you're having heart problems if you're having heart health problem please remove every other oil sacrifice go and buy cooking olive oil and you know they are not really that expensive oh. it's lack of knowledge that is making us virgin oil olive oil and of course you know you don't need so plenty in your food so why are you pouring you know some people they call them a uh, man no? <laughs> they carry oil and they feel everywhere for this age oh, because let's leave that that habit that we learned from our mothers and better be in good health change to olive oil if you look at the mediterranean diet you know they, their diet is very good and that's why they live long people in the asia they live very long because they watch their meal and it's because most times go and watch their meal you will see olive oil there olive oil is packed with antioxidants which can relieve inflammation and decrease the risk of chronic heart diseases it is also rich in monosaturated fatty acids and many studies have associated it with improvement in heart health. Move away from all this fry fry. Look, even me, I have, it's just that my bottle of oil, olive oil finished with, I turn to almond. Let me have my almond and coconut oil. My almond and coconut oil. Those two are what, you know, I started, I didn't know when they finished because I just went off, I just even went off um, oil, you know, but this is my almond oil. I also have my olive oil, the bottle's just finished. I'm going to get some this week. And I also have coconut oil. In fact, I bought a pack of um, coconut oil from, from, from Jumia. You know, it came like this. Even though my daughter was like, ah, mommy, you didn't buy cold press. Because usually when I travel to US or UK, I buy big jars. Like times 10 of this, I buy it from US or UK. And I freeze it. I freeze it so that it's, you know, I put it there in the freezer so that I can travel with it and then it lasts me for long. But because of lockdown, I've not traveled. So I'm buying from Nigeria. So I have my olive oil, my almond oil, and then even for the whole house, if I must fry, I use um, soya bean oil. Even though those ones, when you fry them, they, they, they begin to lose their value. But like coconut oil just remains, you know, monosaturated. It's not going to turn to your saturated fast. All this type of oil, that I've mentioned can help your heart health and don't put much if I'm cooking I just put tablespoon in whatever I'm cooking that's all you need oil is not making the food sweet though so we need to be very very careful though we still need oil all right I take a few questions now before I go to number six and remember hey I need to stop oh, because I must show you this recipe my liver is ready the uh, not my liver the liver I bought <laughs> <laughs> ginger let me have my water ginger and garlic <laughs> bring it up for me please i said bye bye <laughs> all right anyway let me see if i have some questions i take your questions while we go over to the next ones mm. okay you can't wait for the book yeah it's coming how much is the garlic capsule okay because i'm going to be telling you it's not that expensive okay I just told myself that if anybody asks any question, I'll do any question on product, I'll do discount. Because why did you ask it now? Anyway, I'll give you 20% discount on garlic time, 20% discount on your active um, act, um, active C omega 3 and all the other heart health products for today. 20%. It is just between now and tomorrow, 10 a.m. I finish it if you don't pay between now and then it goes back to the normal my retail price if you want it at five percent then you have to buy certain amount and I buy it from the company for you I sell retail for my products if you want any discount to buy directly from the company at five percent discount but just for this training for this teaching I'll give you at just 20% I'm giving you my bonus again just for you to have it anyway so garlic time i'm going to be chatting you ng to tell you how much it is somebody is asking i need the book when it comes out okay i think i'm going to share it with you i have your whatsapp number so if you need the book you can just put your whatsapp number or if you don't want to disclose your whatsapp number take my number 0703 
515-1642 and then chat me and tell me you need the book it's not free oh i'll tell you how much it is when it's out but that's just it all right so um somebody is asking nna is asking what is the alternative for beans and chilies or one with acid for one with acid reflux um and then the way you cook beans is what gives you the acid reflux and that's why i did that teaching on how to cook beans so what you could do chat me on whatsapp and i'm going to show you the link to where i cooked that beans the method the procedure of your cooking beans is what happens then if you're having heart reflux for chili pepper that's the hot one then take green pepper you know or take ball pepper those red and yellow ball peppers they are also very good so that's the alternative then somebody is saying quaker oats okay for yes quaker oats is very okay it has fibers that's the oats i'm talking about today what type of fish uche i've already said salmon fish mackerel fish and i also talked about um trout and i also talked about tuna i also talked about um sardines and herring fish i think they have that a lot abroad but i'm sure we have uh, we might have trout here i've seen it a few times in some supermarket but mackerel is everywhere you know we have mackerel and then you can find salmon fish in some of the you can find salmon fish in some of the supermarkets all right <laughs> Doris, i can't answer price now because it will disturb me from what i'm doing so chat me on my whatsapp and i'll give you the price please uche the same with you chat me on my whatsapp and i'll give you the price okay i can't start talking price here now we have a lot to do please catfish is not okay if you're taking catfish you're taking catfish for pleasure and please take the roasted one usually let me give you one secret the best fish to eat are those ones that have scales and then these ones that i mentioned if they don't have scale just use them sparingly please all right yes i've talked of coconut oil i mean i've talked coconut oil is very good but of course portion control as an I, i'm sure you know i've done portion control with you all right so somebody is asking um please ma can i rub almond oil yeah you can rub almond oil you can rub almond oil omega-3 capsule um RTC, i'll give you the price please chat me on whatsapp so i can give it to you hello pastor evelyn good afternoon how are you pastor easily evelyn is already in the product center getting her own products by herself and incidentally she's now on 35 percent discount wow kudos to you <laughs> from the company that's why it's good for you to make a long-term plan she started using the products for herself then she moved on to her family members i can remember when i did promo on um b polling she was there you know she took a lot of b polling for every member of her family because i did buy two and get one free so that you can try it for three months and see what i'm telling you today she's my business partner hello just meeting her a few weeks back thank you thank you Ibli, for believing on in in what we do doris please chat me on whatsapp on my number and i'm going to give you the price the 20 percent discount remember all heart products cardio health if you have high blood pressure cardio health rtc garlic thyme and aloe vera gel let me have my aloe vera gel bottle and aloe vera gel is very good for you just give me from here and aloe vera gel is very good for you she's bringing it for me i'll show you then also if you're having um bad cholesterol your bad cholesterol level is is high then you can also use you can also use for bad cholesterol you can also use aloe vera gel garlic thyme and your active c you can also use it so you can use your garlic thyme your active c and your aloe vera gel if you're having bad cholesterol it will help improve your good cholesterol and reduce the bad cholesterol so for today 20 percent discount for you on this and then if you're having high blood pressure for high blood pressure is your active c your cardio health and your aloe vera gel and of course for prevention and those who need stamina and those who also need their blood to flow where well, you can add your ig ig is fantastic it just keeps your 
your, your blood flowing well through the day. And if you're lacking sleep and having high cholesterol or lacking sleep generally, please, blossom tea is what you need. It helps cool your nerves. It helps makes you sleep well and deeply, especially when you're overworked. And it's very, very affordable for what it does. So all these are on 20% discount for today for you. Yeah, how to pay you transfer. Just chat me on WhatsApp. I'll give you all that. Okay, I should call my phone number again. 0703-515-1642. 0703-515-1642. And I'm pinning it now on the page so that you'll see it on the page. All right, so I've mentioned all the fish that can help you. Just take one of them as what you need to eat. Any other fish may be good, as an it may be good, but the ones I've mentioned are the best for you. So number six is liver. Liver is one of the organ meats, you know. Of all the organ meats, liver is the most nutrient-dense meat. And in particular, liver is bulging with folic acid and iron, chromium, copper, zinc. All this increase the blood hemoglobin level and also help keep your heart healthy so if your issue is just with heart issue take liver we're going to be making a liver sauce for heart health today oh time is going i need to be fast so that i can show you how we do it so we're going to be making a liver sauce for heart health today number seven is avocados avocado are excellent source of heart healthy monosaturated fat and they have been linked to reduce level of cholesterol, the bad cholesterol, and also the risk of heart diseases. Avocados are also rich in potassium, a nutrient that is essential for our heart health. In fact, just one avocado. Let me have one of my avocados. Okay, let me pick it up. One of my avocado. Now, this is an avocado I have here. Just one avocado. Just this avocado, you know, that I have here just one this avocado that i have here supplies 975 milligrams of potassium that is about 28 percent of the amount that you need in a day so now what you need in a day and you know that's why i tell people about supplementation now this avocado now supplies you with 28 percent so if you want the 100 percent you need now do the mathematics yourself it's the same. One man came to me and he was having a um, prostrate issue. And you know, after giving him teaching on what he will eat, he said, ah, I will start eating tomatoes. I said, uncle, you will need a basket of tomato every day. He said, which size of basket? When I showed him, he said, eh, I cannot eat that now. And I said, that's why you need your supplements. Because these things have been made in a way that that your basket of tomato naturally gotten has been compressed and put in those capsules for you. So he now agreed and started taking his vitalized men. Thank God he's okay now. So getting at least 4.7 grams of potassium per day can decrease blood pressure by an average of 8.0 over 4.1 mn, you know, Hg every day. So and this is associated with 15% lower risk of um, of uh, of stroke. So avocados are rich in potassium, like I said, which is which nutrients are essential for you. So it's very, very good for you to take your avocado. Today, we're going to be doing a recipe on avocado with beetroot for healthy heart smoothie. All right, so number eight is your beets. Beets, you know, are very, very good. They are very, very good vegetables, you know, because, you know, they are is due to the high dose of nitrates which help keep your blood vessels dilated and healthy. A study was done in Britain in 2013, and it showed that simply drinking a cup of beetroot juice significantly lowered blood pressure in hypertensive patients. So every morning you take your fresh beetroot, and that's why I'm going to do a beetroot smoothie, an early morning beetroot smoothie for you. So you take it every morning, you know, to help your heart health you know it's also very very good for us to know that you know fruits and vegetable with these colors that i mentioned you know that have them um, carotenoids and 
flavonoids, that purplish color. You know, that pigment is very, very good for your heart health because they have an antioxidant properties in them. So you need to try them, carrots, sweet potato. They are also, our dinner today is sweet potato with our liver sauce. That's our dinner today. And then we have our green veg beside it. Wow, wow. You're going to be getting all this in the book that is coming out. Delicious food, healthy foods that you can have. Also, you can also have squash. If you have access to squash, you know, papaya, that's like purple. Purple is very good. I don't joke with my purple. Thank you, everyone. That's good. How do you get the tea? Okay, um, God Flora, Godwin, chat me on my WhatsApp number that I've pinned. You're going to get the tea at 20% discount for today. List of food. Ah, it's going to be in the book. Fumi Lion. Just watch out for the book. I'm giving you a shopping list and I'm giving you the, the recipes that you need. We need to be fast so that we can do this recipe. <laughs> because once time is over, we are gone. So number nine is leafy green vegetables. Leafy green vegetables like ogo, shoko, tete, spinach, kale. For those of us abroad, they are well known for their vitamins, wealth in vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. In particular, they are a great source of vitamin K, which helps protect your arteries and promote proper blood clothing you know so they are also high in dietary nitrates which has also been shown to reduce blood pressure decrease artery stiffness and also improve the function of your cell lining you know in your blood system so number 10 okay also among the leafy green vegetables you have the tomatoes tomatoes have lots of nutrients and they will keep your heart healthy so little uh, fruits that have that and uh, vegetables that have that red color like i told you very very good you know they help your heart um as well helping to keep your heart disease at bay because they have potassium benefits those potassium help your the muscles and your bones especially the muscles of your heart and they can also prevent you know kidney stones from forming in your kidneys scientists also have found out that you know, while decreasing the sodium intake is the most important dietary change you can do to attempt to reduce your, your heart diseases, you also need to take some of these vegetables to also, you know, help you with the nutrients that you need. So antioxidants help to neutralize harmful free radicals, preventing oxidative damage and inflammation. This all usually contributes to your heart, you know, issues. So number... Another thing you can do under the greens is the green tea. And that's why I always recommend my blossom tea. Green teas are very, very good. I don't want to go deep into that today. Number 10, and the last that I promised you, I'll just run the others through because I didn't talk about them today, is your nuts and your seeds. Like almond nuts, hazelnut, pea nuts, pecan, pistachio, walnuts, you know, cashew nuts. They are all heart healthy nut options that you can have. They are full with protein, fiber, minerals, vitamins, antioxidants like your fish and flax seed, walnuts. You know, they are all very good. And especially flax, you know, flax seed is very good. It has omega 3 fatty acid, making them a healthy, a heart healthy snack. Also, um, it's pumpkin seeds. Also, almonds are also very good for you seeds like chia seeds are very very good and that's why for me because i don't easily go out to get my chia seeds i use my gin chia this is my chia seeds that i take i've taken okay let, let me give you a short testimony usually when people have premenstrual pain or those who are having a menopausal issue and they're having pains i always recommend this to them and then um, even this morning i was really having some serious pain i just chewed two from my gin chair and i was okay after having my back so this is my own chair seats because numerous studies found that, that adding these seats to your diet can improve many heart diseases you know risk factors including inflammation blood pressure cholesterol and triglycerides all right so those are the 10 i've talked about the 10 that we need you can also let me just add these free ones fat free or low fat yogurt number 11 Number 12, strawberries, blueberries, 
and rice breeze all those bri 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 they are very good and if you're we are in nigeria and some other places you can't get your berries this is a fantastic drink that covers the whole berries for you it is called forever aloe berry nectar it has cranberry it has blueberry it has apple flavor um, aloe vera gel and it has apple or meat you know very very good if you can't get your berries but berries is another one that you can use also you have dark chocolate for those of us who stay where we can get original dark chocolates they are very very good for your heart thank you i need to get up now to cook let me have my pot <laughs> let me show us the recipe very fast i need the video cut well i don't know but we'll try let's pray for internet too i didn't want this video to be more than one hour but it's going to be a little more more than one hour so let me have my pot so we can do our cooking fast now. We'll start with the smoothies. We start with the smoothies. So that when I get up, I know I've gotten up. And then I want to also show you how I do my potatoes. I don't know if you're seeing. Okay, yeah, you should be seeing my. I want to also show you. Let me have the potatoes and the water. So for my potatoes, I usually like doing potatoes with the skin. Because they are very, very good for you to do your potatoes with your skin, with the skin of the potatoes, because they make them fresh and healthy. So we will cut the potato into our steamer. So I have my steamer here. Cut them for me. So we'll cut it into our steamer. And then we are going to add water. It's always very good for you to steam. When you boil your food, when you boil your food, eh? Some of the nutrients go into the water you're using to boil them. I'm sure you agree with me. So, and then you strain the water out. So you strain out some of those nutrients. But when you have your steaming gadget like mine, you can also improvise your steaming, you know, just get a um, colander. Let me have that sieve, that metal sieve there. So I can show them. Maybe I'll have to get up a bit now. So we just adjust the visa I can get up. All right, so I'm showing you that you can steam. You can steam using your steaming, steaming gadget. If you have your steaming gadget, one of my mommies gave me this. So, <laughs> so if I want to steam, I'll put my potatoes. See, I have the steamer. I'll put the water under. So if you're not using this gadget for steaming, you can use a pot. Put a pot. Let me have a pot. I can also show this today. So I have my potatoes here. I put that a smaller pot. So. Let me have spoons. So now I want to show us an improvisation. If you don't have your steamer, so if I have my steamer here, let me have a spoon, please. So I can put my potatoes, these are raw potatoes, okay? They are raw potatoes that we have cut. Remember I say we cut it with the skin because I want to get all the nutrients in here. I want to get all the nutrients in here. So if you have your, your steamer, you just put your potatoes inside. And then put it on the steamer and then I'm going to switch it on. switched it on and remember I put water on that so I time it mine has timer and then I cover my steamer for it to steam for me now if you don't have your steamer and you want to improvise a steamer you can use a pot with a sieve can you see what I'm using put a pot with a sieve that can enter inside this one can't really enter it's the largest one I have here for now but you can use okay let me try that bigger one if it can sit well it will help you so you can use your pot and put your steamer, okay, your sieve, and then you put water. You put water under. When you put water under, then you can now cover. You can now cover your pot and then also put it on fire. So we'll just do a trial with this. Let me have some water, please. 
while this is steaming in the electric, it's going to get done here. I also want to show you how you can steam using your pot. Okay? So you light your gas. Can I have some water? She will show herself today and help me. <laughs> yeah. All right, so anyway, as she's trying to put this on fire for us to try our. It's just to show you how you can improvise the tea. So you put it, your water under and then your potato and then you try and put it on fire. We'll cook this in the lower gas. I don't know what's wrong with it. Didn't try this today. It should be working now. You use this. Remove this. So as this one is cooking here, I'm going to show us how to do our smoothie. I will show us how we can do our smoothie. So I just want to improvise and use something else to cook this. Alright, so our smoothie, we need our beetroot. For the smoothie, you need your beetroot. You need your avocado. So this is my avocado. I will give her the avocado to cut for me so I can save time. Give me the lettuce, watermelon. Let me quickly cut this. Can you give me the watermelon? Watermelon. So I have my for your, your early morning smoothie that can help your heart. I have my lettuce, I have my watermelon that I always put in the fridge, and then avocado, and then your beetroot, and of course your light ultra. I want to show us the recipe um, together. So for your healthy heart smoothie, 
you have your light ultra, your lettuce, your beetroot. I always add my berries too. Okay, so okay, it's here now. <laughs> So I have my, my berry. So I'm going to because we are doing it mainly for heart health smoothie. I'm going to take this is a quite a big beetroot. I'll take like half portion of it, and then I'm going to put my lettuce. This is fresh lettuce. You can also use ogo. Ogo is also very good. You can use ogo for this. Today we are using fresh lettuce. I put my fresh lettuce, ginger. Then I'm putting my avocado. I put my avocado. And then here yeah, I'm adding just a little ginger. I usually love this taste, taste of ginger. So I'm adding a little ginger. And then I'm putting my watermelon, okay? Now I always put my watermelon to freeze because I love taking my smoothies cold. I like cold things, you know. So that smoothie, I just like it to taste like ice cream. I always also tell children that is the secret of my having my smoothie like my ice cream. And then for morning time, I use banana too. I can also put banana here. I can also put my banana here. <coughs> Just one finger of banana because I've put avocado so that the smell and um, the texture can be okay. So one finger of banana. This makes it, you know, you have your potassium that you need for the day in it. And then you can add some water. Can add some water. You can see that my, my potato is steaming very well. So my light ultra, you can either use the chocolate or the vanilla. The vanilla you can use is very nice, but for people who have um, diabetes issue, I always recommend the chocolate or those who have iodine issue i recommend the chocolates you know so i can eat, eat i use any but today i'm using my vanilla so i add it also to my cup so what do i have in here i have my beetroot i have my lettuce i have my avocado i have my watermelon i have my ginger i have my banana and then i have my light ultra then I
So my smoothie is ready. I'm going to try it with you here now. My smoothie is ready. Like I said, I love adding berries so I can have everything. Let me have a glass cup, please. I love having berries. So I've opened my berry nectar. Because my smoothie is quite thick, I want it a little softer. I can add my berry. Sometimes I add it, sometimes I don't add it. Already the, the, the color is very, very nice. But I just want to add a little berry nectar to my for today, my smoothie for today. And I always tell people, if you want healthy food, it can be really delicious if you really need it to. This is something else. Very delicious, healthy for my heart. And remember all the properties I've talked about. Beetroot, avocado, the green vegetables, you know, fantastic in one cup for your breakfast. It's actually fantastic. Wow. So you can have this the variety of this for your early morning smoothies. And in that book, the Heart Health book, you're going to be having quite a lot of this in your Heart Health book. In fact, I feel like going back over and over. What do I have here? Beetroot, lettuce, ginger, berry nectar, my berry nectar, my light ultra, and my watermelon, you know, by banana to give me the potassium. So very, very good for your heart. Now to make your, your dinner, we've taken breakfast now. And for your lunch, you can have your nuts. All the nuts that I mentioned can be your lunch, you know, especially for those of us who are watching our weight. But if you're not watching your weight, you can go ahead and have your, your lunch, your cooked lunch. You can have, if you go down my page, you will see where I talked about garden egg amala with your eforiro. When you're making your eforiro, you don't have to use plenty oil like I said. Just a little coconut oil or almond oil will do. So I want to quickly show us what is happening on fire here. And then we will do our recipe with the food. Remember that I'm cooking the potato on a steamer and as i'm steaming the potato on the steamer it's not going the things are not going the, the nutrients are not going into the water they are being on and it's normally very delicious you know very very delicious and then i said for those of you that don't have um those of you that don't have a steamer you can go ahead and use your pot and i showed you how you can do it to put your vegetable on top of a sieve where the water will not enter, and then you put water under. And they also have steaming pots. There are some pots that are actually steaming pots. So I'll give them this one to continue to cook while we do our, quickly do our liver sauce and call it a day. But before then, you know, before then I want to bring my fire nearer. Let me have my ginger and garlic water. So like I told us, this is what I do. I put my ginger and my garlic. I saved it because sometimes my children, when they get the chaff, they don't like it. You know, so, and again, for general cooking, I sieve it and put inside here. It's not that I have my ginger here. I can just pour this and drink it fresh. That's how I love it. So I want to quickly show us, I'll show us the ingredients and I'll go ahead and make the sauce. We are using for our um, potatoes that is cooking. Let me see if I have any questions here.
okay somebody says she's just joining which tea i'm talking about blossom tea blossom tea is very very good for you blossom tea will help you with all the things we are talking about you know that we talked about green tea as part of the events that can help you then um light ultra i'm going to be telling you how much it is you can also chat chat me on on 0703515 to know how much it is you miss the preparation watch the replay everything is on the replay hey, avocado pear if taking somebody is asking is avocado pear does it make you add weight anything you take in excess will make you add weight you see the portion i put so you need to add portion control to everything you're you're doing you need to add portion control to everything that you're doing you need portion control for it okay uh, yeah you will get the book when it's out watch the replay so we're going to make our healthy sauce now can you see it here <laughs> all right my gas gave up i don't know what happened but it works the next day so i want to take show us how we can make our the liver sauce the healthy liver sauce okay I have my pot here and I'm going to put it on fire. Let me show you. Yeah. I'll put it on fire and then I'm making my sauce with coconut oil. I'm using coconut oil for today. So I'll put, you see how tiny, how I open my coconut container oil, very tiny, so that I won't ever over pour. Because oil is not the thing that makes your food sweet. Remember, I'm making this food. For somebody that has high blood pressure or somebody that has high cholesterol or somebody that needs to lower his or her blood pressure that's what I'm making this meal for so you will notice I'm not adding salt to this food and it's going to be very delicious okay so I put my one tablespoon of coconut oil in my pot then usually when I cook I use wooden spoon I don't usually like putting metal to metal when I'm cooking. I don't know why this is really not. I don't know if I can. It's quite hard to bring it down. Let me check. Let me check. Don't worry, I'll use it. Yeah. Is this strong enough? Okay. Is a little higher. I want you to see what I'm doing. <coughs> so I've put my oil on fire. You know, it's been a long time I did cooking. <laughs> cooking exercise. So preparing today again. So what do I add first here? My diced onion. I take half of it. I usually start with half. I put half of my diced onion. You can see that I didn't put salt here. And then this is my juice, my garlic can ginger juice. I'm going to pour quite some into the pot. And I'll allow it to simmer. Did you, have you increased it? Back? Easy, easy, easy. So I'll allow this to simmer. As it's simmering, I'm going to show you what, what my ingredients are. I've put my ginger and garlic, coconut oil, and then the onion. Half onion. So now I have my fresh tomatoes. I'm adding my fresh tomatoes. Then I'm adding the liver. I've already cut and diced the liver into small quantity. So I'm adding the liver. If you want to boil your liver ahead of time, 
you can boil your liver ahead of time and still keep the sauce so that you can add the sauce then if you don't want to boil your liver ahead of time i'm just giving you the two ways you can do it we boil our liver uh, the liver ahead of time so we are going to add the liver water later but if you don't want you can just if you have your liver raw what you could do is to put your the liver when you put the onions and the when you put the onions and the and the garlic and ginger you put the fresh liver and allow it to simmer that's usually how i would have actually done it if not that i was busy and my housekeeper boiled this i usually prefer the sauce coming in it with it so you can see it's simmering and then you have your pepper your chili pepper remember what i said chili pepper can do for you you add your chili pepper Remember, no salt in here. And then, as much as possible, as much as possible, you need to allow your, your vegetables to be fresh. Okay, so I'm going to add in the last vegetables fresh. I'm adding in my carrots. I'm adding in my spring onion. And the remaining part of my onion because I want it fresh so that's why I always keep some part of the onion to add it so that it will be crispy and fresh and then of course my stock that's the liver water that came from what I bought curry chili I cover and allow them to simmer the pot cover. Now for people who I must drop this people who need to stay away from salt, one of the things that can help your food to be tasty is healthy spices. Healthy spices can make your food really taste nice. So you can have your turmeric. You can have some kinds of um, black pepper. There's these northern, northern spices that they sell that they also use for um, making pepper soup, ingredient and um, pepper soup. Like, um, I don't know the English name, Sha. I will find out next week so I can give us. But they call them, um, um, there's this outside name they call them. They come in seeds like these, different types of spices. If you go to the market and ask the women, they will give you all those spices. So you use them. And then you can also use your curry your rosemary you know to add to your food to make it tasty and then you wouldn't need salt in there so i'm going to add my turmeric i add my turmeric and then rosemary and pine that can help if you can find them fresh in their fresh leaves they are better but if you can't find them fresh you can get the organic options of them which is what i like using So now if you have your mackerel or your salmon, you can have it as your protein for this. So your food is set to, you don't boil your vegetable for too long. Never boil your vegetable for too long. And our potato is done. Let me have plate. So we serve. And then I show you how I merge my food 
and then we are done for the day. <laughs> So remember portion control. I didn't show you how to make your fish today. I should have brought a ready-made fish. So I have my sweet potato, which is complex carbohydrates, has fiber. You see the back. I'm chopping everything together with the back. You can see it because of the fiber that is in it. My sweet potato is done. I have my portion. And then my sauce is also done. That's the sauce. It's also done. And it's yummy and smelling nice. So I have my sauce. Healthy dinner for myself. Remember your portion control. Portion control shows that you should have 50% of your vegetable, 25% of your complex carb, 50% of your vegetable, 75% of your complex carb, and then your protein of choice. Today our protein of choice is salmon, which is not here with us because of time and we need to close now. Okay? Let me have a spoon. Let me taste <laughs> what we've got. But you know, my number one, I'm still taking my breakfast too. I'm not finished. I'm just trying to show us that my meal is good. So that's my meal. Mm. Very nice. You won't even know, you won't even miss salt at all in this meal. Keep your heart healthy. Okay? Keep your heart healthy. And then see my potatoes. Soft. It has all the nutrients in it. Nothing went into water. And not that I'm eating it with any fried anything. You know, very little oil that can help your heart. Thank you for joining me. <laughs> my coach is here. Is he? <laughs> Yes, of course, you'll be number one. <laughs> that heart health book, you will be number one. You will be number one. No? <laughs> so this is how you can have your delicious meal, healthy for your heart, for your whole system. And then the book is going to come with a lot of these recipes for you every day. You eat it and be healthy, okay? I love you all. Thank you for joining me today. And make sure you get your supplements if you need them. And make sure you guide to your shopping list for all the things that you need. God bless you for joining me today. Thank you. Love you loads. Chat me on my WhatsApp 0703515 See you on Thursday for our business talk. And again, I'm going to have a little gist on Wednesday in the evening by 8 p.m. We will have our gist. I'll be telling you what we are gisting about tomorrow. Bye for now.